In a first for NASA and only the third for humanity, the American Space Agency has retrieved a sample from an asteroid that is 82 million kilometers away from us. The NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission dropped off the sealed capsule containing the sample from the asteroid it had orbited called 101955 Bennu or just Bennu and brought these samples back to Earth. This lasted over a period of seven years from launch. This historic mission collected material from Bennu. The samples are to be analyzed on Earth. The asteroid is categorized as a near-Earth object with the potential to impact the Earth after several centuries. The analysis of this extremely rare sample is expected to provide information about the evolution of the solar system as well as the formation and evolution of life. In a press conference following the retrieval of the sample, NASA scientists and engineers called this an amazing treasure trove for generations. Scientists will now ensure that this sample stays uncontaminated by other biological life forms and entities on Earth during analysis and remains pristine because it is rich in organic molecules. While this is an entirely NASA mission, the analysis itself will also involve collaboration with Japanese scientists because the Japanese space agency JAXA had previously shared its two samples from two different asteroids with NASA for analysis. The OSIRIS-REx mission was launched in 2016 and it entered orbit around the asteroid Bennu in 2018 and collected its sample in 2020. The craft flew by Earth on the 24th of September and it dropped off its sample towards Earth and moved on to study its new target, which will be the 99942 Apophis asteroid, which the spacecraft will reach and rendezvous with in 2029. The Bennu sample contains at least 60 grams, possibly up to 400 grams of material from the asteroid, and it fell in the Utah desert in the US on Sunday. It was retrieved by explosives experts because of the region and it was then cleared and taken to a clean room for analysis. Bennu is a near-Earth asteroid with the potential of colliding into Earth a few centuries later. However, it is a carbonaceous asteroid. It is made up of carbon and contains a variety of organic molecules. The analysis of this sample, therefore, will provide a lot of clues into the origin of life in our solar system. Like previously mentioned, this sample is the first for NASA to perform a sample return, but this is not the first mission to have ever performed sample return. JAXA had sent two spacecraft previously, the Japanese space agency called Hayabusa 1 in 2010 and Hayabusa 2 in 2018, which returned samples from asteroids Itokawa for Hayabusa 1 and Ryugu for Hayabusa 2 in the years 2010 and 2018 respectively. The OSIRIS-REx mission is actually called the OSIRIS-APEX mission. It stands for Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, Security, Apophis Explorer now because it has been renamed. REx earlier stood for Regolith Explorer. The spacecraft was launched in September of 2016 with the objective of studying the asteroid Bennu and return samples from it for detailed analysis. It entered the orbit of this 560-meter-wide Bennu in December of 2018 and it was going around the asteroid for two years for over 550 days and it analyzed the surface, finalizing a landing spot. An interesting tidbit here, the famed astrophysicist, who is also a guitarist of the band Queen, Brian May, is actually a part of this team and he was involved in deciding the spot for sample picking on the asteroid. While we say that the spacecraft touched down on the asteroid to extract a sample, it did not technically fully land. To extract the sample, the spacecraft lowered itself close enough to the asteroid's surface and extended out a robotic arm. This arm and the mechanism is called touch-and-go sample acquisition mechanism or TAGSAM. When the TAGSAM arm contacted the surface, a high-pressure jet of nitrogen gas was released from the spacecraft below to blow away the regolith or the soil or the surface particles on the asteroid. 
These blown away dust particles were collected in a sample collector head that was present at the tip of the arm. After about five seconds, this arm was retracted and we could see from images that a substantial amount of sample was collected much above the expected and necessary 60 grams. At the time, NASA said that they expected anywhere from 400 grams to one kilo of material and we will not know yet how much material there is and findings are expected on the 14th of October of this year. But after the sample was extracted, it was then sealed inside the return capsule and the spacecraft prepared to return to Earth. In April of 2021, the spacecraft completed its final orbit around Bennu and in May, it began its return journey towards Earth. The capsule separated from the spacecraft on 24th of September and landed at the Utah Test and Training Range. It will be studied by both NASA and JAXA scientists. This was and is an $800 mission and is a part of NASA's new Frontier program, which also includes the Juno mission that is currently in orbit around Jupiter and the New Horizons mission, which flew by Pluto. OSIRIS-REx, now OSIRIS-APEX, will rendezvous with Apophis in April of 2029. It will orbit this asteroid for 18 months. And while it is not expected to return a sample again, it will perform a similar surface disturbing maneuver to study the material that's underneath the surface on this asteroid. Near-Earth asteroids like Bennu, Itokawa, Ryugu, and Apophis are classified as near-Earth because their orbit around the Sun brings them close enough to Earth for them to be monitored for potential collisions in the future. Near-Earth objects are those that come within a distance of 1.3 astronomical units from the Sun, where one astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to Sun, which is 150 million kilometers. Near-Earth objects are mostly asteroids, but they can also be comets sometimes. If an object crosses the orbit of Earth and is larger than 140 meters in diameter, it is considered a PHO or a potentially hazardous object, which Apophis is. There are over 30,000 near-Earth asteroids that are actively monitored. NEOs or near-Earth objects have low surface gravity typically as they are comparatively smaller rocks to planets and they extend only for meters or some kilometers in diameter. Five of these asteroids have been visited by spacecraft from Earth up close. Apart from Itokawa, Ryugu and Bennu, NASA's near Shoemaker orbited and landed on 433 Eros in 2001-2002 and China's Chang'e 2 lunar mission flew by 4179 to Tatis in 2012, Apophis is Osiris Rex's or Osiris Apex's new destination and it is a silicate and rocky asteroid quite different from Bennu in structure and composition. It is a PHO with a diameter of 370 meters. Apart from studying the composition of the rocks for clues to the origin of the solar system and life, scientists have also performed a planetary defense experiment to protect the Earth from an approaching asteroid. Asteroids can sometimes be on a collision course towards Earth, which is what happened 65 million years ago with the dinosaurs. Large enough asteroids that are heading directly towards Earth can theoretically be deflected in their orbit to move away by a slight collision to the orbit. This was demonstrated in the NASA DART mission, which was a planetary defense mission where a spacecraft was sent to the harmless asteroid Didymos and impacted its moon, Dimorphos, to change its orbit successfully.